Smartphones are like treasure chests of personal information. We store everything on them, photos, messages, financial details. To protect this treasure, we use lock screens, pins, patterns, passwords. They seem impenetrable, but are they really? Hackers are always looking for ways to bypass these locks, and unfortunately, they have a few tricks up their sleeves. One method hackers use is surprisingly simple. USB debugging and ADB commands. USB debugging is a feature meant for developers to access the phone's system, but it can be a backdoor if left enabled. Hackers can connect the phone to a computer and use ADB, a command line tool, to interact with the phone. With the right commands, they can bypass the lock screen or even reset it completely. It's like leaving a key under the doormat. Convenient for you, but an open invitation for unwanted guests. This method requires physical access to the phone, which might seem limiting. However, imagine leaving your phone unattended at a cafe or lending it to someone you thought you could trust. It's easier than you think for a skilled hacker to exploit these vulnerabilities. USB debugging is often enabled by developers who need to test their applications directly on a device. While this is essential for development, it poses a significant risk if the device falls into the wrong hands. Once connected, a hacker can use ADB commands to install malicious software, extract sensitive data, or even control the device remotely. This makes it crucial for users to disable USB debugging when not in use and to be cautious about who they lend their devices to. Additionally, always keep your phone updated with the latest security patches to minimize vulnerabilities. Remember, while technology offers convenience, it also requires vigilance to ensure our personal information remains secure. Stay informed and take proactive steps to protect your digital life from potential threats. In the end, a little caution can go a long way in safeguarding your privacy and data. So always be aware of the settings on your devices and who has access to them. Your vigilance is the first line of defense against potential cyber threats. Sometimes hackers resort to brute force, trying different password combinations until they hit the jackpot. This method is often used when other techniques fail or when the password is not easily guessable. This is where tools like John the Ripper come in. John the Ripper is designed to crack passwords by systematically testing a large number of possible combinations. John the Ripper is a powerful password cracking tool available on Kali Linux, an operating system specifically tailored for penetration testing and security research. Kali Linux is a popular operating system for ethical hackers and, unfortunately, malicious actors. It provides a suite of tools that can be used for both defensive and offensive security measures. John the Ripper uses dictionaries and algorithms to generate possible passwords and test them against the lock screen. It can perform dictionary attacks, where it tries words from a pre-compiled list, and brute force attacks, where it tries every possible combination. While this method can be time-consuming, it can be effective especially against weak passwords. The time it takes depends on the complexity of the password and the computational power available. Imagine a lock with thousands of possible combinations. Each combination represents a potential password. John the Ripper is like having a thousand keys and trying each one until the lock opens. The more keys you have, the faster you can find the right one. It's a game of patience and computational power. The more powerful your computer, the faster you can try different combinations, and the sooner you can crack the password. The Hydra's Many Heads Online Attacks In the vast digital landscape, online attacks are as varied and relentless as the mythical Hydra. Another tool in a hacker's arsenal is Hydra, a network login cracker. This powerful software is designed to break into systems by systematically guessing login credentials. Hydra automates the process of guessing login credentials for various services, including Android lock screens. It can target anything from email accounts to social media profiles and even banking apps. By bombarding the phone with multiple login attempts, Hydra exploits vulnerabilities in the lock screen security, potentially granting access to the device. This relentless attack can bypass weak security measures, making it crucial to stay vigilant. Imagine a Hydra, the mythical multi-headed serpent, attacking its prey from different angles. Each head represents a different method of attack, making it difficult to defend against. This method highlights the importance of strong, unique passwords for all your online accounts, including your lock screen. Using a combination of letters, numbers, and special characters can significantly enhance your security. Always update your passwords regularly and avoid using the same password across multiple platforms. Protecting your digital fortress. The thought of someone bypassing your lock screen is unsettling, but there are ways to protect yourself. Disable USB debugging when not in use. Set a strong, unique password or PIN for your lock screen. 
Be cautious about who you lend your phone to and where you leave it unattended. Think of your smartphone as your digital fortress. By taking these precautions, you can strengthen its defenses and keep your valuable information safe from prying eyes.